last batter, Lonnie Stokes, Rebellion. First time starter, Steve Mahar from post two. Then we have Gotta Run, Gotta Go, and Wayne Watson, Morgan's Girl, Gord Hennessy, R.R. Zoverton, and Mark Haig. Carter Starr and Todd Trites. And the outside, seven entry, ROF, Racing High, and Sam Hodgen. Seven across the track, race one of 12. Here they come. They're off and pacing, good start. Gotta run, gotta go, going for the lead. On the inside, Nelly's Last Matter gets away well. And looking for the lead around the turn, Nelly's Last Matter has rolled off stride though. And also off stride is Rebellion. And also our, ours Overton has gone to a break and some mass confusion in the backfield as they straighten up the backside for the first time. Morgan's Girl has the lead for Hennessy as the inquiry sign goes up. Then racing second, gotta run, gotta go. Sitting third, back pacing Nellie's last matter. Also back pacing the first starter, Rebellion. 31 second opener, then ROF racing high on the outside correction in the quarter, 33 seconds. Then ours Overton on the move from sixth and the trailing seventh Carter Star as they make their way past the three eighths and off the turn through the stretch racing to the half mile point and on the point here, it's Morgan's Girl out by two and a half. Got to run, got to go. ROF racing high back in and covered in third, but back out again. Then RR's Overton on the outside has a cover to work with. The half in 105 and four around the paddock turn they go and still cutting the lead. Morgan's Girl second. Got to run, got to go. ROF racing high three wide. Our, ours Overton on the outside, swinging up three wide on the outside for the Hagler and going on. Then back to Nelly's last matter in fifth, then six Rebellion and trailing the field. Carter Star three quarters in the books now, 138 and four around the turn and it's still Morgan's girl, the one to beat. Our, ours Overton on the outside and hitting hard second, but Morgan's girl digging in here and finding another gear with this final eighth of the mile. Morgan's girl, our, ours Overton, has got a shot at her now on the outside. Down the stretch, Morgan's girl, our, ours Overton, and got to run, got to go is coming through, but it's going to be Morgan's girl. Then got to run, got to go, got the deuce ahead of our, ours Overton. Who finished third? 2 10 and 2 the mile. And it's Morgan's Girl and Gord Hennessy taking the first. We do remind you, though, the inquiry sign is up, so hold all tickets until the official result has been given. Winner circle, winner of race number one. And the winner, number four, Morgan's Girl, a three year old daughter of drop off out of the Paris Dexter mare, John's sister, owned by John Clary, trained by Bill Nicholson Sr. And in the bike today, Gordy Hennessy aboard Morgan's Girl. And a maiden record for the Philly, 2-10 and 2. Gate to wire effort, Morgan's Girl finds a winner circle. And the mile today, 2-10 and 2. A maiden record for Morgan's Girl here in the first. And Harvey in the bike, Shady Martin, Wayne Watson. Then we have Salzbrook Dandy scoring three. And Gordy Hennessy talking about my boy and Todd Trites. Then we have Eli is coming, Mark Haig. Oh, my beautiful doll, Steve Mahar. And the two outside entries are Diamond Hard, Lonnie Stokes. And the far outside goes to Salzbrook Marr and Sam Hodgen. Field of eight, full field here in race two. Here they come. They are off and pacing memories of love. Eli is coming on the outside. Salzbrook dandy in between them. Around the first turn, and Eli is coming, quickly goes to the lead. And he's got the lead now by two memories of love, Salzbrook Dandy. Got away third, talking about my boy, the favorite on the board. Got away racing in the fourth now as they straighten into the back stretch. Then getting away fifth, Shady Martin. And oh, my beautiful doll. Backing off Diamond Hard and trailing the field, Salzbrook Marr. Eli is coming. Salzbrook Dandy on the outside. 
He made the early move, 31 seconds even that opening quarter. Eli is coming, Salzbrook Dandy on the outside, Park second, then racing third and looking good, Memories of Love. And Ed Harvey is a great watch of this one as they come off the turn, neck and neck for the lead. Eli is coming, Salzbrook Dandy outside. They're toe to toe, then racing in third, Memories of Love. Salzbrook Dandy gets to back off now and gets in the hole, racing second, the half, 101 and three, Eli is coming. Salzbrook Dandy racing second, then racing third, Memories of Love back forth. There goes, talking about my boy, and there goes Salzbrook Dandy again out to move. Then, oh, my beautiful doll comes to fifth. Now six, Shady Martin, Diamond Hard, Salzbrook Marr, onto the three quarters, Eli is coming, has moved out again. And racing second, up tight, Salzbrook Dandy, and a bit rough there as they pass the three quarters, in one thirty-four and three around the turn, Eli is coming. Salzbrook Dandy on the outside, then inside. Memories of love, talking about my boy outside, but stalled and tipping out wide. There goes Mahar with oh my beautiful doll off the turn for home. Neck and neck, Eli is coming. Salzbrook Dandy outside. Oh my beautiful doll on the far outside eating up racetrack, but Eli is coming, is going to win it here for the Hagler in for second. Oh, my beautiful doll, and she had lots of pace. Time for the mile, 207 and one, inquiry up, looking at racing action past the three quarters. So the inquiry is up, and looking on the confusion there involving Salzbrook Dandy. Coming back to the winner circle, winner of race two. Number five, Eli is coming. Eli is coming, a five-year-old gelded son of Matter of Money out of the Herod's Mare, Ellen Rods. All by the TMT stable, trained by Robert Kraft, Mark Hag in the driver's seat today. And Eli is coming. Winning today for driver Mark Hag and the owners, TMT stable and Robert Kraft. And the stutters moving in behind the gate, the third. Here's how we score out here in race three. Julia down as the inside, Steve Mason. Rita Sealster scores two and Mark Hag. Dillinger's Lady scoring from post three, Steve Mahar. Then we have Ashby Corner from post four, Jill Berrio. From five, my buddy Mark, Sam Hodgen. Then in Golden Days and Todd Trites from six. From seven, Banda Colleen, Gordy Hennessy. And from eight, Mercurial. And Rick Armstrong, eight across, and here they come. They are off and pacing, and a solid start to this one, and busting out for the lead. That's Rita Sealster going for it. Up on the inside, Julia down as they race around the turn, and Julia down using the rail to her advantage has the lead. Not for long, though. My buddy Mark tracking up on the outside to take it. Julia down on the inside, wants the lead, though, and is going to play some hardball as they race on to the quarter. Then Rita Sealster back third, Golden Days, Ashby Corner on the move early on the outside. Then back on the inside, Dillinger's Lady in sixth, outside and moving. There goes Gordy Hennessy and Bandit Colleen rushing on and trailing the field. Mercurial 31 seconds that opening quarter and up top and leading it my buddy Mark and Ashby Corner has made his way now to second and will get a breather on the inside. Then backing off in third, Julia down and on the outside and moving. Here comes Rita Sealster, then Golden Days. Bandit Colleen back to Dillinger's Lady and trailing halfway home, Mercurial 102. The opening half for my buddy Mark looking to go all the way and has the lead by a length and a half. Ashby Corner closing in on him. Then racing third, the outside, Rita Sealster. Then Julia Down has fourth. Outside Bandit Colleen, Golden Days. Then it's back to Dillinger's Lady and trailing the field at the back of the bus is Mercurial and Ashby Corner and Barrio has gone up to take the lead now and he's there in one. 
33 and 3. Ashby Corner moving out by two. My buddy Mark staying with him though. And is two back in second, closing up again. And second. Then on the outside, Rita Sealster, Bandit Colleen. Julia down with an eighth to go. And it's Ashby Corner, the one to beat. My buddy Mark is second. And a battle royal for third in the home stretch. It's Ashby Corner. My buddy Mark way outside. Golden Days appears to have the most pace and gets up for third, but it's Ashby Corner over my buddy Mark. Golden Days, a nice finish to grab third. Time for the mile, two, five, and three, and it's Ashby Corner. Pretty back now, your winner of race number three, number five, Ashby Corner. Four-year-old gelded son of life sign out of the No Nukes Mare Nova. Owned by Don Montgomery of Quispam, Charlie Price trains. Jill Berrio in the driver's seat today in Ashby Corner. Picks up win six of the season. And uh, this afternoon, winning in 205 and a three. 205 and three, Ashby Corner. Behind the gate now, our fourth of the afternoon. Here's how we score out four deals. Mark Haig, Island Exceptional, Steve Mahar, Bando Morris, and Jill Berrio. Everybody loves Raymond, Sam Hodgen. Then Sweet Lofty and Todd Trites, JJ's Yankee, Mike Downey, All-American Dazzle, and Wayne Watson, full pardon out. Field of seven here. Here they come. They're off and pacing inside, going for it. Four deals, everybody loves Raymond. Fires out of there as well, looking for the lead around the turn and sneaking up Island Exceptional now second. Everybody loves Raymond. Bit wide around that first turn and he gets in now racing third. Bando Morris fourth, Sweet Lofty fifth. Then racing six, JJ's Yankee All-American Dazzle can see them all as they make their way onto the opening quarter and on the lead for deals. And there goes Everybody Loves Raymond and Hodgen moving on with him. Now second, 31 and three opener. Island Exceptional now third. Then Sweet Lofty out to move and driving up from fourth. Bando Morris has fifth and All-American Dazzle. And JJ's Yankee, they're side by side at the back of the pack. Three eighths of the mile in, off the turn, through the stretch, racing to the half. And your leader up top is four deals. Hag's got one win so far, and he's looking good on the lead here. Everybody loves Raymond getting parked. Then third on the inside, Island Exceptional, Sweet Lofty, Bando Morris. All-American Dazzle on the move, JJ's Yankee trails. And they were by the half in 102 and two around the turn. Four deals leading. Racing second, Island Exceptional. Then racing third, everybody loves Raymond. All American Dazzle on the outside from seventh, and he's quickly going on. Now fourth in between horses, Sweet Lofty. Then Bando Morris, JJ's Yankee trails. A bunch field to the three quarters, four deals. Still has the lead, 35 and three. Past the three quarters, neck and neck. And it's still four deals. Everybody loves Raymond. Then right between horses, Sweet Lofty just needs Need some racing room and Trites now angles her out quickly from third and she's got a ton of pace down the stretch far outside Sweet Lofty has grabbed the lead here Sweet Lofty drawing away battle for second four deals and everybody loves Raymond but it's Sweet Lofty and a one two finish for the Charlie Price stable Sweet Lofty wins it four deals second everybody loves Raymond third time for the mile 206 and 3 and Sweet Lofty winning it here for Trites. Pretty back to the winner circle, winner of race number four, number 1A Sweet Lofty, a six year old daughter of J.B. Stena out of the Big Towner Mare, same day delivery. Oh, Terry Price, Charlie Price trains, and Todd Trites in the driver's seat and exploding in the home stretch to win it. Sweet Lofty for Todd Trites 
and win 145 on the season for Todd Trites. And Sweet Lofty connects here in the fourth. And the starters for our fifth race, reaching the wings of the starter here for the fifth. We have the Little Monster and Sam Hodgen. Ryan's Fancy, Steve Mahar, Pitbull Hanover, and Joe Barrio. Wild Cherry and Mark Hag, Vic Victor, Gord Hennessy, Rapid Kane, and Todd Trites. And seven to the outside, we find Let's Tango Lavros and Lonnie Stokes aboard. Seven across the gate here, race number five of the afternoon. Here they come. They are off and pacing. Good start. Pitbull Hanover busting out for the lead. Up the inside, though, is the Little Munster around the first turn. And Pitbull Hanover on the outside tries to get there, the Little Munster. Then on the outside, driving up, that's Trites. And he's got Rapid Kane firing up here early. And on the outside, gets to second. Then racing on the inside, third. That's the Little Munster. Ryan's Fancy got away in a fourth. Then racing fifth, then tip to the outside. Let's tango Lavros. Then it's back to Wild Cherry and Vic Victor. Trails 30 and 1. That opening quarter. And up top and cutting it, Pitbull Hanover. Rapid Kane has got that perfect pocket trip now. And Trites sitting on the back now. Racing second. Then on the outside, driving up third. Let's tango Lavros. On the outside, he's been parked. Then on the inside, getting locked in the Little Munster Wild Cherry. She's got that covered second over trip, and she's on the move. Then it's back to Ryan's Fancy. He's got shuffled back badly here, and trailing Vic Victor now moving to the outside. An even half of 102 around the turn. Pitbull Hanover up on the outside. Let's tango Lavros coming to call. Rapid Kane is racing third. Wild Cherry spotted second over in fourth. Then locked in the little monster outside Vic Victor. And the trailing the field at the back. That's Ryan's fancy as they race on to the three quarters. And Pitbull Hanover appears well in hand here and has moved out a couple lengths. Wild Cherry and the tough race mare comes Adam now racing second, 133, past the three quarters as they come off the turn. And it's Pitbull Hanover. He's going to contest Wild Cherry now, though, in this final stretch battle. And it's Pitbull Hanover, Wild Cherry on the outside coming on. Then Rapid Kane for third. Pitbull Hanover, though, is going to hold off. The tough mare, Wild Cherry, gets the deuce. And for third, Rapid Kane. And the time for the mile. 204 and 1. 204 and 1. And just a correction, the three quarters was 134. And the mile 24 and 1. Pitbull Hanover. Back to the winner circle. Winner of the fifth race, number three, Pitbull Hanover. Five-year-old gelded son of Astraos of the Ideal Society mare, Plum Peachy. All by Bob McNeil and John Laverick. Trained by Bob McNeil, Gil Barrio gets the steer today. Win seven of the season for Pitbull Hanover. And uh, this afternoon, 204 and one. Last quarter, 30 and one. Pitbull Hanover here in race number five. Top of the stretch now, race six. Here's how we leave Big V and Steve Mahar, Pictoni and Best West, and Jill Barrio. No thoughts of her own. Todd Trites, Andy Hanover, and Mark Hag. Milt, Lonnie Stokes, Lucky Northern Star, and Wayne Watson, Holiday Moon, Sam Hodge, and Daya Harlaka, and Gordy Hennessy. Field of eight, race six. Here they come. They are off and pacing. Good start. No thoughts of her own. Busting out for the lead on the inside. Big V going for it as well around the turn. And they race neck and neck around the turn. And Pictoni and Bess West got away third on the outside. Lucky Northern Star. Then caught in the middle, Andy Hanover. Then Milk got away racing in a sixth. Racing seventh, Daya Harlaka. And Holiday Moon trails and Trites takes over with no thoughts of her own. Has the lead now. Racing second. 
And uptight Big V on the outside. There goes Pictonian. Best West on the outside. That opening quarter, 30 and 4. And up top and cutting it. No thoughts of her own. Pictonian Best West on the outside. Matching strides as they race on past the 3 8 and no thoughts of her own. Pictonian Best West on the outside second. Then racing third up on the outside is Andy Hanover Big V. Then outside Daya Harlaka goes to the outside. And the two trailers now are Lucky Northern Star and the Holiday Moon the half and even 102. And they're still battling toe to toe. No thoughts of her own. Pictonian Best West on the outside. And he's been parked early on here. And he's driving second. Then on the outside, Andy Hanover comes to third. Back fourth, Big V. Daya Harlaka. Milt is caught in. Then racing to the outside, Holiday Moon. Remember last week, she swooped them right around here. And she's coming from the back of the pack again here by the three quarters. Pictonian Best West. 134 and 1 around the turn. Pictonian Best West and Holiday Moon use that burst of speed again, and she's all the way up to second with an eighth of a mile to go. And, and on the outside, Holiday Moon has taken over. Pictonian Best West on the inside is second in deep stretch. It's on the inside. Pictonian Best West back again. Holiday Moon, Pictonian Best West. Came back on on the inside. Holiday Moon, no thoughts of her own. And Andy Hanover and three wins for Barrio. And it is Pictonian Best West. And a tough trip for the Pacer, 2-6-2. Two, two. And back with his third driving win in the afternoon, driver Gilles Barrio aboard number three, Pictonian Best West. Three-year-old son of Western success into the on-the-road-again mare, Mood Music. All by Ray Frazier of Moncton, trained and driven by Jill Barrio. And for Pictonian Best West, that's six wins on the year. And the mile today, 206 and 2. Pictonian Best West, 2-6 and a 2 here in the 6th. And the starters for the seventh race behind the gate, Casimir Freedom, Robert Kraft, Manard Amity and Mark Hag, OB Viking, Jill Berrio, Order to Go and Mike Downey, Keystone Ricochet, Wayne Watson, Tigress Colleen, Steve Mahar, Bert and Bert, Todd Trites and Night Stalker, the outside, and uh, Sam Hodgen. Eight starters, race seven, solid field, and here they come. They're off and pacing OB Viking out for the lead man, Art Amity. Then on the inside, that's Casimir Freedom as they're wide around the turn and taking the lead, Casimir Freedom. Then on the outside, OB Viking quickly on the outside going for it as they hit the back stretch and OB Viking takes over. Casimir Freedom now racing second, then racing third up the inside and right there, is man art amity then trites finds himself parked on the outside with Bert and Bert, then order to go, sits early in fifth. Tigress Colleen in sixth, Keystone Ricochet, and a trailing Night Stucker. And they were by that opening quarter in a 30 and four. Up front, OB Viking by almost two. Then racing second, Casimir Freedom, Bert and Bert now finds a spot at the cones and he gets in for a breather third. Then on the outside, driving up, here comes Manard Amity from fourth, order to go on the outside, following suit from fifth. Then six, Tigress Colleen, Night Stalker, and Keystone Ricochet trails 102 and four. Halfway home, an OB Viking in control so far. Then on the outside, coming up, Manart Amity inside Casimir Freedom. Then order to go is second over in fourth, Bert and Bert fifth. Tigress Colleen, then Night Stalker, and trailing the field up the backstretch, Keystone Ricochet as they go to the three-quarters.
Rivers, OB Viking by a length again. And Casimir Freedom and Kraft's got a stranglehold on him. And he just needs some room. 32 and 1 in that third quarter. And that was a 135. Third station, OB Viking, the one to beat. And right in behind him, Casimir Freedom Order to go is swinging wide. And in Manard Amity is not done yet. An eighth to go, OB Viking. Here comes Casimir Freedom out from second. Deep stretch though, OB Viking is going to turn them away. OB Viking, Casimir Freedom, Burt and Burt rallied nicely for third. And OB Viking winning in 205 and 2. OB Viking, fourth for burial, 205 and 2. And back to the winner circle, winner of race number seven. Number four, OB Viking. OB Viking, a seven year old son of Keystone Raider out of the RK Pemer. Debbie Spartan, owned by Chris Davies and James Clough. Chris does the training. Joe Barrio, his fourth driving win of the afternoon, giving him 210 on the season and the mile in 205 and 2. Stutters behind the gate for the eighth Katahdin country with a claim enter, Jill Barrio, Cam's man, and Mike Downey. Fitta Paulie, Sam Hodgen, Jacob, and Lonnie Stokes. Ty Brin and Steve Mahar. Falcons Quick and Ed Harvey. Megan all down, Steve Mason, Giz, can do, and Todd Trites. Eight across the gate, race eight. Here they come. They are off and pacing. Good start for Cam's man. He's busting for the lead. Jacob on the outside. Then Katahdin Country gets away third around the turn. We're getting away fourth. That's Fittipaldi. Then it's back to Ty Bryn. Giz can do. Megan L down. And trailing Falcons quick. Up the backside they go. Led by Cam's man. Then racing second. Jacob third. Katad in country, then Fittipaldi tracks it from fourth. Ty Bryn fifth, then Megan L down. Giz can do, and trailing at the backfield is Falcons quick. That opening quarter, 30, and the four-fifths. The field stacked up, single file order, and it's Mike Downey leading the charge here with Cam's man, and he's on top. Then second, Jacob Katad in country will make his pass move soon and he's driving up now from a third as they tip off the turn and through the stretch to the half then meanwhile back in fourth Ty Brin on the outside then on the inside right there is Fittipaldi then it's back to Giz Can Do Megan L down out and moving and trailing the field Falcons quick the half 103 and 1 Cam's man he's got Katahdin country coming to him on the outside then third Jacob Fittipaldi back in fourth and fifth. On the inside is Ty Brin. Giz can do. Then Falcons quick and Megan L down. onto the three quarters they go. Cam's man. He's going to be tough to beat here. He's got Katahdin country at him. But Cam's man is extremely tough off the front end. And he still leads by the three quarters. 133 and four. 34 and 4 rather 31 and 3 and Cam's man is digging in and putting away Katahdin Country here and moving out now by 2 Katahdin Country second Jacob back in third Fittipaldi fourth but it's Cam's man and he's moving away Cam's man Katahdin Country for second and the battle right now is between Jacob and Fittipaldi for third but it's Cam's man Katahdin Country Jacob finishes third ahead of Fittipaldi Time for the mile, 204 and 4. Last half, 101 and 3. Back to the winner's circle, winner of the eighth race, number two, Cam's Man, a 13-year-old son of Cam's trickster. Out of the midshipman mare, Mary Miss, career win 64 for Cam's Man. And winning gate to wire, 2-4-4. Four, and four.
And the starters for the ninth race settling in Dusty Lane Oscar and Lonnie Stokes. Then from two, Burt's Goldie and Todd Trites, Baby Dill, and Rick Armstrong, Pictonian Dream, Mike Campbell, Rosalie Sealster, Steve Mahar, Lobster Tail and Beer, Jill Barrio, and Cocan Rebel, and Jerry Gallant. Field of seven, here they come. They're off and pacing, going for the lead. That's Birch Goldie, and Birch Goldie quickly takes the lead. She's got some great gate speed, and Trites uses it to her advantage and opens up by a quick three lengths here. Then racing second, Dusty Lane Oscar. Outside third, that's Rosalie Sealster looking for a spot. Baby Dill is racing back in fourth. Then fifth on the inside, Pictonian Dream. Then it's back to Lobster Tail and Beer. And Cocan Rebel and Mahars getting the parking ticket here. And up front and cutting it, it's Burt's Goldie, 31 seconds. That opening quarter, then second, Dusty Lane Oscar on the outside, Rita Sealster. Or Rosalie Sealster, rather, on the outside. She's parked and forced to drive on. And now second, then third on the inside. Right there is Baby Dill as they tip off the turn. Then on the outside, up and moving. On the outside, coming up comes Pictonian Dream from fourth. Then on the inside, Baby Dill, Lobster Tail and Beer is going to try it from the back of the pack. And Coke Can Rebel trails the half. 102 and 3 around the paddock turn. Burt's Goldie on the front end mission here. Leading by a length and a half still. Second, Dusty Lane Oscar. Then Rosalie Sealster outside third. There goes Pictonian Dream. Fast as a ball on the outside. Driving on from fourth and going on. Then behind him, Lobster Tail and Beer. Then it's back to Baby Dill looking for racing room. And trailing Cocan Rebel. But Trites appears to have have this one in control so far. Burt's Goldie 134 and 4. Burt's Goldie by two and a half. Pictonian Dream. Then Dusty Lane Oscar back in third. Rosalie Sealster, Lobster Tail and Beer Baby Dill, Cocan Rebel down the lane and it's all Burt's Goldie. And Trites is going to get another win here. Burt's Goldie in the home stretch and wins it easily. Pictonian Dream second. Dusty Lane Oscar. Up for third, then Baby Dill and Lobster Tail and Beer. Time for the mile, 204 and four. An impressive win, Burt's Goldie. Back to the winner's circle, winner of race nine, number two, Burt's Goldie. Birch Goldie, a three-year-old daughter of Western success out of the Paris Dexter mare, C.L.'s Goldie. All by Francine Pellerin, trained by Roser Barrio and Todd Trites up for the catch drive. And Birch Goldie equals her lifetime best today, 204 and 4. Birch Goldie and Traitsy in 204 and 4. And the starters for our 10th race behind the gate. Quality of money is the inside post. Lonnie Stokes. Art of the Millennium. And Jill Barrio from two. Select Timber. And Phil Reed from three. Then star follower Steve Mahar. Legendary one. And Todd Trites. Franco Croupier. And Mike Downey. Field of six across the gate here. Race 10. $1,000 purse. Here they come. They're off and pacing good start for Star Follower busting out of there. Quality of money gets away racing in second around the turn. Art of the Millennium got away third and he's off stride again this week. And second straight week, Art of the Millennium has made a break around the first turn. And he's back pacing. Meanwhile, up third on the inside. That's legendary one. Then on the inside, taking over fourth and moving up the inside. That's Franco Croupier. Then it's back to select Timber and trailing the field. Art of the Millennium, 31 and 1. That opening quarter and uh, loose on the lead here. Star Follower out by about three and a half. Then quality of money second. Another three back to Legendary One who's closing the gap a bit. Then Franco Croupier. Back to select Timber and trailing the field far back. 
And out of this one is Art of the Millennium, three-eighths mile in, and led up top by Star Follower. Outside, Quality of Money coming to call on the outside, going for the lead. Then Franco Croupier on the outside, driving up. Then Legendary One is fourth, a half, three and three. Then it's back to Select Timber and trailing Art of the Millennium as they race past the five-eighths and four of them right in the hunt here as they make their way up the backside and Quality of Money takes the lead from star follower Franco Croupier is spotted second over in third and right there Legendary One and Trites just needs some room here. Then it's back to Select Timber and out of it Art of the Millennium three quarters in 135 and four around the turn, star follower quality of money couldn't get by him yet. Then Franco Croupier swings out three wide and looking for racing room legendary one an eighth of a mile to go. Down the home stretch on the far outside, Frank Rowe, Croupier takes over. Then quality of money up the inside, legendary one. Gonna be though, Mike Downey, his second of the day. And it's Franco Croupier over quality of money and legendary one third. The time for the mile two six and three. Two seven and three. Mile two seven and three. Back to the winner circle, winner of race 10, it's six, Franco Croupier. Home of the Downey Racing Stable, Mike Downey aboard. He's the son of Falcon Sealster. Out of the Tua Pika Nightmare, Cherubic. Owned and driven by Mike Downey, Franco Croupier. Picks up career win number 36. And it's a sixth on the season. And two wins for Mike Downey today. And the starters for the 11th race behind the gate. Gordy's last call and Gord Hennessy. Racklin, Fine Line, Jill Barrio, Eyes and You, and Todd Trites. Membership, Steve Mahar, Health is Wealth, and Mike Downey. Dusty Lane Buster and Lonnie Stokes from six. Then we have Pipe Major, Mike Campbell from seven. And your outside eight entry is Magnetic Bank and Wayne Watson. Eight starters across the gate, top class pacers. Here they come. They're off and pacing membership, busting for the lead. Gordy's last call on the inside. She's looking for it as they round the first turn. Gordy's last call has the lead. Then racing second and ducking in membership. Brecklin, fine line, get away, racing in third. Then fourth, eyes on you. Back in fifth, health is wealth. Then back six, Dusty Lane Buster, Pipe Major, and trailing the field, Magnetic Bank as they make their way single file fashion and stacked up by Gordy's last call. Past the opening quarter and Hennessy took him there, took her there. By that opening quarter in an even 31 seconds flat, Gordy's last call. Sitting in the pocket, second membership, Brackland fine line. Back in third, eyes on you. There goes health as wealth on the move from fifth. Dusty Lane Buster, Pipe Major, and rounding out the field, Magnetic Bank as they come off the turn and through the stretch in front of the judges' stand for the first time, led by Gordy's last call membership, sitting perfectly in the pocket. Then third on the outside. Health is wealth. Rackland fine line the half and two and two. Then outside Dusty Lane Buster. Eyes on you is caught in back in six. Pipe Major seventh and trailing Magnetic Bank again the half two and two as they make their way past the five eights up the backside. Gordy's last call. She's looking good in the lead here. Membership has had that perfect pocket trip though and he's inching up second. Then third health is wealth up the inside eyes on you rack land fine line on the outside three quarters in one 33 and 2 31 seconds in the third quarter Gordy's last call moves out by two again membership is second with an eighth to go Gordy's last call membership then up the inside eyes on you health is wealth Rackland fine line on the outside deep stretch Gordy's last call is going to hang on here Gordy's last call about a length and a half win eyes on you second membership was third 
and Gordy's last call makes every post a winning one. Mile and 203 and two, the back half 101, and she takes the top class. And back to the winner's circle, winner of our top class, number one, Gordy's last call. A four-year-old daughter, a matter of money, out of the Dexter Nukesmare guest appearance. Entered by Earl Fram, he does the training. Gord Hennessy up for the steer. And Gordy's last call, career win, number 33 of her career. And this season, her eighth of the campaign. Eighth win of the year for Gordy's last call. And she makes every post a winning one this afternoon. The mile in 203 and 2 to grab today's top class. Here in the 12th race, we have a scratch. Number three, Heron Bay. Down to a field of six. Materialism. Mark Hag, the inside, becoming Jarwa and Sam Hodgen. Educated moves into post three, Steve Mahar. Wilson's Cam now four, and Lonnie Stokes. Skill Factor moves into post five. Mike Downey in post six. Always Jarwa and Todd Trites. Here they come. They are off and pacing and looking for the lead materialism, becoming Jarwa under a tight hold around the first turn and always, or becoming Jarwa gets in the two hole. Back in third as they move to the opening eighth, getting away. That was Wilson's cam. Then racing fourth, educated. Back to skill factor, sitting off early in fifth and trailing six as always Jarwa up the backside and op to the opening quarter and out from third and rushing on. That's Stokes and Wilson's cam. Materialism though, he's not gonna let him go and Wilson's cam could be parked here that opening quarter in 31 and three. Neck and neck for the lead. Materialism Wilson's cam made the move and the Hagler not giving the lead up here. Then back in third becoming Jarwa gapped out to educated. Then on the move skill factor trailing always Jarwa as they approach the half materialism and Stokes now backs off for a hole behind the leader as they're halfway home skill factor now third becoming Jarwa. He is fourth, always Jarwa on the outside, now fifth, and trailing educated the half, 102 and two, 30 and four in the second quarter. Materialism, skill factor has come up to engage the leader. Then on the outside, always Jarwa, and he's firing for Trites on the outside, now third. Then racing back in fourth, and fading, that's Wilson's cam becoming Jarwa on the outside, moving up from fifth, now fourth by the three quarters, 133 and one as they round the turn. And Mike Downey looking for a triple here, and he's got the lead on the outside, always Jarwa. Materialism third, becoming Jarwa fourth, educated fifth, and trailing Wilson's cam down the lane, skill factor. Then always Jarwa on the outside, materialism is still there and he's back to second now but it's going to be skill factor and down he gets his triple in for second materialism and third going to becoming Jarwa and the time for the mile 203 and four and Mike Downey a driving triple skill factor gets the finale Trading back now with his third driving win of the afternoon. Driver Mike Downey aboard number six, Skill Factor. Five-year-old son of Chill Factor to the Dragon's Lair Mare, Butterfly McQueen. Home of the Downey Racing Stable, Mike Downey trains and owns the Pacer. And for Skill Factor, it's his seventh win this season and puts him over $14,000 in earnings for the season. Skill Factor, Mike Downey completing a driving triple and the mile this afternoon, 203 and 4, Skill Factor.